Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'll be talking about some nutrition tips and health tips that are actually evidence-based that can help us to live longer life. Now, I'll be listing a lot of things. Just try and make sure you pick one or two things that is going to help you. I know this can be somehow difficult but it is very essential if you can actually maintain this at least in your daily activities now the first thing i'm going to be talking about is don't drink sugar calories avoid eating or taking so much soda drink or sugar sugar drinks because most times our body when we when we drink so soda drink you end up eating more calories though sometimes you feel satisfied immediately but you are doing more um than good to your body also eating of nuts nuts like granuts cashew nuts all the categories of nuts these are high in fat and nuts are incredibly nutritious and very healthy they are loaded with magnesium vitamin e fiber and various nutrients now eating nuts is a very very good um, nutrition and health thing that you can also take additionally you know the body absorbs 10 to 15 percent of the calories in nuts and um, also some evidences also suggest that this food can boost metabolism now the next thing I will talk about is avoid processed junk food most times we are so busy we are we don't have time to do a lot of things and junk food is the um, solution to what most of us we don't because we don't have time to cook now processed junk food sometimes is incredibly unhealthy junk food is unhealthy so this food has been because this food has been engineered to trigger your pleasure center so those that have cooked maybe they try as much as possible to make sure it is very very sweet and they put a lot of things in it to just to make sure it tastes nice on our, on natural so they trick your brain into overeating and even promoting food addiction in in some people they get addicted to a particular type of food now they are usually these junk foods are usually low in fiber they are low in protein they are low in micronutrients but they are always high in unhealthy ingredients like sugar and um, refined grains number four tips is don't fear coffee coffee is very healthy you can take coffee sometimes at the point i was like i was getting like addicted to coffee because coffee is high in antioxidants and studies have linked coffee to um coffee intake to long long longevity and a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes parkinson disease alzheimer's disease and all sorts eating of fatty fish is another good thing fish is a great source of high quality of protein and it's healthy getting enough sleep is another good tip the importance of getting enough sleep enough quality sleep cannot be overstated because Poor sleep can drive insulin resistance and disrupt your 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 um, appetite hormones and reduce your physical and mental performance. Now, if you take enough sleep, what's more, poor sleep also is one of the strongest individual risk factors for weight gain. Now, if you're not sleeping well, you're at risk of gaining weight, and obesity is actually you're at a risk of getting obese now a study also linked insufficient sleep to an 89 percent and 55 percent increased risk of obesity in children and adults the next tip i'll talk about is take care of your gut health take care of your gut health this is very very important with probiotics and fiber there are lots of companies now like Drift Plus um, and um, yeah, there are lots of, place of um, pl places you can get probiotics from. Drink water, especially before meals. Try and drink as much water as possible. You can take before meals. This is very, very important. If you can take like a glass of water before meal, when you wake up before you go to bed drink enough water it has no drinking water has a lot of numerous benefits and surprisingly water can boost the number of calories you burn it's 
have been studies also show that it increases the metabolism by 24 to 30 percent over one to one and a half hours and also taking water is also really 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 very important. avoiding bright light before you sleep is also very important because i talked about having good sleep but if you don't do things to promote good sleep you won't be able to sleep properly now avoiding bright light you can buy a the cutting that can give you blackouts this will reduce the bright light coming into your room and it will let you sleep faster now taking off vitamin d3 i've talked about probiotics also that is also a good one vitamin d3 if you don't get much of sun exposure because vitamin d is something is comes naturally naturally from the sun now if you don't get much of sun exposure you can take vitamin d D3. But sunlight is a very is a great source of vitamin D. Yet most people don't get enough sun exposure because they're always in the house or from the house to the car and from the car to the office. So they don't have the opportunity of getting enough sunlight. Now you can use vitamin D3 to boost this um sunlight to boost your vit the vitamin content in your body. Now, if you are able to get a adequate sun exposure, vitamin D3 supplements are, or if you are not able to get good sun exposure, vitamin D3 is a very good supplement that you can take. Now, eating of vegetables and fruits, this is another very important health tip you should also make sure you do. Vegetables and fruits are really, really loaded with probiotic fibers and vitamins, minerals and many antioxidants and some of which they have potent biological effects. Now eating of vegetables is very important. Make sure you eat enough protein, eat protein in your daily food. Eating enough protein is vital and optimal in health. High protein intake can boost your metabolism significantly while making you full while making you full feel enough to automatically eat fewer calories do some cardio exercises do cardios um you know doing aerobic exercises uh, which is called cardio is one of the best thing you can do for your mental and physical health use extra virgin olive oil this is one of the most healthiest oil to use in cooking or in doing any type of deep fry you want to do and don't smoke or do drugs only drink drink in moderation alcohol intake reduce alcohol intake avoid smoking minimize your sugar intake as much as possible also don't eat a lot of refined carbs not all carbs are created equal there are some food content that are very very high in, in carbs also avoid lifting everything because of your back and also to protect your spinal health avoid artificial transfers you know some people put at the surgical procedure they put some artificial transfer of fats into their body this has a negative effect also now psychological care mental health care take care of your relationships track your food intake every now and then if you have excess belly fat you can try and get rid of it because this will promote you promote you to be able to do exercises as much as you can and also uh, going on diet is um some if you are overweight and you want to go on diet don't do this on your own or if it is recommended by your doctor you can actually go for it and the best thing is when you want to go on a diet try to contact a dietitian or a nutritionist to give you the appropriate calories intake you're supposed to take so you don't just starve yourself anyhow eat eggs and yolk and eat egg is you know whole eggs are so nutritious and they be they can be termed as nature's multivitamin and it's a myth that eggs are bad for you because of their cholesterol content no eggs are very very good because um studies show that they have no effect on blood cholesterol cholesterol in majority of people now 
egg is also is a very very important thing and instead of instead eggs are one of the planet's most nutritious nutritious food. you guys i've just listed some nutrition and health tips that you can ensure you do in your daily care and in your daily activities and things you do daily don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've learned one thing i've mentioned a lot of things try as much as possible to put into practice one or two things from all what i've listed and i'll be seeing you in my next video thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and also put on the notification bell so that you're going to know when i upload a new video i'll be seeing you in my next video thank you guys for watching bye